My name is John Swinsinski, and I am an encaustic artist. Encaustic comes from the Greek word encaustikos, which means to burn in. It's an ancient style of painting where pigments were combined with beeswax and resins and used to paint Egyptian funeral portraits and decorate Greek warships. Encaustic paintings are created by layering the beeswax and resin medium over hardwood panels. Sometimes there's pigment added directly to the molten wax, but most of the time I use oil pastels to tint the wax between each layer. I use a blowtorch to fuse each layer to the one below it. Because beeswax is impervious to dirt, water, and oils, encaustic paintings can last thousands of years, and the beeswax and resin medium doesn't melt until it reaches over 150 degrees. One of the things that I love about encaustic is that it gives me the ability to embed other materials like glass, stone, mica, and even 24 karat gold leaf. These natural materials are important elements in my style and are in keeping with the organic nature of the whole process. I start each painting with a general concept of color, materials, and composition, but the molten beeswax can sometimes be unpredictable. It's a very reactive style of painting. I have to go where the molten wax takes me and with each new layer find a way to take advantage of all the things that are happening in the painting. Texture is a very important part of my work. In addition to the textures created by the materials I embed, I can also control the texture of the wax itself by controlling the amount of heat that I apply with the torch. One of the biggest advantages to working in encaustic is the ability to control transparency and luminosity. Some of the paintings have up to 40 layers of wax on them, and you can almost see right into the paintings themselves. My inspiration comes from a lot of different places. Much of my work contains landscape or topographical elements. Other pieces are strictly about the emotions connected with certain color palettes and shapes. When you look closely at my work, there's so much going on with the way the texture, colors, and materials interact. At the end of the day, I want my collectors to decide for themselves what they see in one of my paintings. I think that is one of the biggest reasons why I am so drawn to contemporary abstract. You are never locked in to a single interpretation of one of my compositions.